What causes the mesmerizing green glow in the polar night sky? Auroras, the breathtaking light displays in polar skies, owe their mesmerizing green hue to a fascinating interaction between solar winds and Earth's atmosphere. When charged particles from the sun collide with Earth's magnetic field, they're funneled toward the poles, exciting atoms above. The green glow emerges when oxygen atoms high in the atmosphere become excited by this influx of energy, releasing energy as vibrant green light upon returning to a stable state. This dance of particles and light not only paints the sky, but also reveals the delicate interplay within our planet's atmospheric layers. Could the very water we drink be older than the sun itself? Explore the fascinating origins of Earth's water, where molecules have journeyed through time, predating the sun itself. Scientists suggest that much of Earth's water is over 4.5 billion years old, originating from icy grains in the interstellar medium. These ancient water molecules were formed as hydrogen and oxygen combined in the vast space clouds that existed long before our solar system took shape. As the nascent sun began to gather matter around it, these ancient grains of ice coalesced with cosmic dust, eventually becoming part of the Earth's oceans. This intriguing revelation not only highlights the timeless nature of water, but also underscores the interconnectedness of cosmic events that shaped our planet. Understanding this history enriches our appreciation for the primordial elements that have sustained life for eons. Clouds may appear light and airy, but they pack an unexpected punch in terms of weight. Imagine a single average cumulus cloud, those fluffy white ones that dot the sky. Surprising as it may sound, this cloud can weigh up to 1 million pounds, comparable to 100 elephants. Yet these colossal formations manage to stay aloft. How is this possible? The secret lies in their structure. Clouds are primarily composed of tiny water droplets and ice crystals dispersed over a vast area. The air beneath and within the clouds is warmer and less dense, providing the lift needed to counter Earth's gravity. Furthermore, the cloud's particles are spread out, reducing overall density, facilitating their buoyant float. This delicate balance of weight and buoyancy showcases one of nature's breathtaking phenomena, reminding us of the beauty and complexity of the world above. Staring up at the night sky, you've likely marveled at the shimmering stars. But why do they twinkle? It's all thanks to the playful interaction between starlight and Earth's atmosphere. Stars emit a steady stream of light, but as this light travels through our atmosphere, it encounters varying air densities and turbulence. This distorts the light, causing it to flicker when it reaches our eyes, creating the twinkling effect we see. Imagine Earth's atmosphere as a giant mischievous jester, tossing and bending starlight just for the fun of it. Next time you're stargazing, remember that the twinkle is not from the stars themselves, but a celestial show put on by the atmospheric layers surrounding our planet. What secrets lie in the moon's subtle escape from Earth? The celestial dance between Earth and its lunar companion has been ongoing for billions of years, yet the moon is not as bound to Earth as it once was. Astonishingly, the moon drifts away at a steady rate of approximately 1.5 inches per year. This gradual separation is due to the complex gravitational interplay between the Earth and the moon, alongside tidal forces that impact our oceans. As the moon pulls on Earth's oceans, it creates tides that exert a small backward torque on Earth's rotation. This torque causes Earth to slow down very slightly, transferring angular momentum to the moon and pushing it into a higher orbit. While the pace may seem negligible, over millions of years, this distance can become significant, affecting both solar eclipses and tides. Understanding this process not only fascinates astronomers, but also enlightens us about the dynamic nature of celestial bodies.